We are the Racine Dominican Sisters who live at the Eco Justice Center. We welcome you to our medicine wheel garden. We're going to pray with you here today. I'm Sister Kathleen. I'm Sister Marianne Boyker. And I'm Sister Janet Boyker. I'm Sister Rosemarie Dishler. And now I'm going to tell you something about the medicine wheel garden. Back in 2009, a group of Girl Scouts from Troop 5536 came and asked if we had a project that they could work on to earn their silver award as Girl Scouts. Well, we've been talking for years about creating a native plant garden or a medicine wheel garden, and the girls said, yes, we're up to that. So they did research on medicine wheel gardens, and Native American people use medicine wheel gardens as a tool for reflecting on life and the years of their lives. And they use it kind of like uh, their Bible, because they can tell many stories of their ancestors and about the land using the medicine wheel. So the girls spent about four months working on this medicine wheel garden. In the center of the garden, there is a peace pole. And on the four sides of the pole, they have the word peace written in three Native American languages. Those are the Native people who lived in Wisconsin back before white people settled it. It was the Ojibwe, the Dakota Sioux, and the Potawatomi Indians. And then we also have peace written in English. The four quadrants represent the four seasons of the year. And amongst the Native Americans, they chose various colors to represent the four directions. The east was yellow, the south is black, the west is red, and the north is white. And as the girls were planting the garden, they chose native plants that would bloom in those colors for each of the quadrants. However, the southern quadrant, symbolized by the color black, they don't have very many flowers that bloom black. So they chose blue flowers to be in that garden. So today we're going to lead you on a little prayer service in honor of the four directions. As we celebrate the spring equinox here at the Medicine Wheel at the Equal Justice Center, we start with the direction east and we invite everyone to face east. East is the direction of the sunrise. It is a symbol for spring of the birth of new life and new things. It's uh, symbolized by the color yellow, and it is associated with matters of the soul. And so we pray at this springtime in the direction of east and say, O great spirit of light, come to me out of the east with the power of the rising sun. Let there be light in my words. Let there be light on my path as I walk. Let me always remember that you give the gift of a new day, and never let me be burdened with sorrow by not starting over again. We thank you for the direction of East on this spring equinox. And now we'll turn to the South, the color blue or black. The direction of south represents youth, sweetness, and the element of water, because rivers usually run south. It represents most often and is associated with our emotions and the season of summer. This is often represented by the color of black. And our prayer to the Creator is, Creator God, send me the warmth and smooth winds from the south. Comfort me and caress me when I am tired and cold. Unfold me like the gentle breeze that unfolds the leaves of the trees. As you give me the earth, 
give me your warmth and moving wind so that I may grow close to you in warmth. We as humans did not make the web of life, but we are a part of it. Whatever we do, we do to the web of life and we do to ourselves. Thank you. And now we turn to the west, the direction of the sunset. It represents adulthood, reaping the harvest of hard work, the earth and stones, and entering the dark cave of hibernation and creativity. It is associated with our physical body and the season of autumn. This is often represented by the color red. Great life-giving spirit, I face the west red, the direction of sundown. Let me remember every day <clears throat> that the moment will come when my sun will go down. Never let me forget that I must fade into you. Give me a beautiful color. Give me a great sky for setting so that when it is my time to meet you, I can come with glory. We greet the north. North is the direction of the ancestors and the wisdom of our elders, both alive and deceased. The realm of the great return to spirit. We look to the north for inner healing and insight from those who have walked before us. It is associated with our mind and the season of winter. North is often represented by the color white. We pray. Great spirit of love, come to me with the power of the north, white. Make me courageous when the cold wind falls upon me. Give me strength and endurance for everything that is harsh, everything that hurts, everything that makes me squint. Let me move through life ready to take what comes from the North. Amen. Thank you for sharing these prayers with us, and we would like to invite you back sometime when the weather is maybe a little warmer and the native plants are starting to grow and spend time here at the Medicine Wheel Garden. This is a book that the Girl Scouts put together, and it describes the 32 native plants and what they were used for as medicinal, medis uh, med medicinal purposes by the Native Americans and early pioneers. You'll find a copy of this in this little mailbox right here next to the Medicine Wheel Garden. Thank you.